Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. Hey, we're on Lake Monticello here this morning, and we're going to try some white perch. And I want to show you, somebody asked me on one of my shows the difference between my rods that I use for crappie and white perch. Well, white perch rod, I go a little heavier uh, with that rod. And a, and a size, a 300 series reel most of the time. Uh, I like the bigger reel. I like braid line, and I like a little bit heavier rod. This is a, a Mac rod uh, from Luz that we got right here. It's a little heavy, but in case I hook the big bass or something, hey, I can pull them in real easy. And we uh, we use the double rig. With the perch rig, I like to go up in size uh, and line 10 or 12 pound test with a swivel, go down braid line, and I got two lines coming off the bottom of the swivel, going down one about 18 inches, and then one about, I don't know, three foot, and then we got a heavier lead above the bottom jig. Now, right now in the fall, the fish are feeding on smaller uh, tread fin shad, so I'm going with the inch and a half jig right off the bat, and a Willie, Willoughby uh, from Bobby, uh, uh, excuse me, from Charlie Brewer, and that's what we're going to be using with eighth ounce heads now i like eighth ounce or bigger heads when i'm fishing for white perch uh the 16th ounce uh, will flip your line a little bit more and cause more knots uh and i'm gonna show you <coughs> on my uh, crappy rig the difference of course you know i like the sac croy rod but a lot lighter we got smaller braid uh eight pound braid and uh, I got six pound test line in between the two jigs, smaller line. And we got a small number 12 swivel. And we go, we come down about the same, same rig with two, two lines. But I use uh, a little bit lighter lead, a uh, number seven or three out. And I use 16th heads or 30 seconds. I like the 16th better than 30 seconds. It seems to, to guide the jig better with my method of fishing. Uh, straight down vertical but uh you see i go smaller everything's smaller and lighter the st croix rod is a lot lighter rod it's a six foot and it's a lot lighter rod uh and we use the uh 200 series or 100 series reel and that's a president fluger reel but uh hey i love this setup for the crappies that's my favorite by far and real real light i got carpal tunnel problem it's light on my hands now, also, I'll use sometimes a bigger head with the, with the uh, uh, perch rig. But here's another perch rig. It's H2O Express rod. This is a lighter rod. This is the lightest rod I'll go with the perch. And, uh, and I'll read it to you if I can see it this morning. Uh, it's a uh, 6 to 12 pound test, 1 8 to 3 quarter ounce. H2O Express and uh, the length of this rod is seven foot. Uh, excuse me, six eight, six eight. I like the rods a little bit shorter. Seven foot's fine, but I like the six eight, six nine, a little bit less than seven. But that's a real light perch rod, and I got to lose uh, two hundred series reel on that. And we and we got the the twelve pound test in between. And, uh, and we got the eighth ounce or bigger head. Right there, I've got the lead colored head and I got a black head. I preferably like the lead colored head. Now, I've got a bigger, a number five swir uh, lead on this rig to get it on down deeper. A lot of times, the perch I'm fishing 45, 50 foot deep, sometimes anywhere from 35 to 50 foot. But that's my light setup for my perch. Just to give you an idea, and uh, also, and I'll show you another rod to set up that I like, if I can get it out. <clears throat> Y'all bear with me. On them stripers in Lake Murray, when they're feeding on small stuff, uh, top water, small top water, you know, I like that creek chub. I also like that flute. That flute right there, it, it's, a, it's like white and speckled and gray. And I use a little swivel above that. Uh, got braid line. Oh, excuse me, on that rod, I don't have braid line. I got a 10-pound test line, and then we got 10-pound test right to the flute. And all I do is throw it out and pull it back up in one long sweep and then reel down. Pull it back up in one long sweep. You can snatch it alone 
and twitch it, but my hands won't let me do that. So I found out it's a lot easier on me, and it works really good. It's to pull, throw it, throw it out, let it sink. And I, you don't have to let it sink. It's kind of on top of the water anyhow. But it pull it in a sweep, fast sweep, and then reel back down. Fast sweep. When you go to reel back down, when you go to pull it, if you feel anything on it, you set the hook. That's when they'll hit it, when it stops and kind of floats back down. Just a little tip, and I like to use a three alt or four alt hook. A lot of people use the hooks that you screw the, uh, the flute into, but I like it like that, and I cut about a quarter of an inch off. I bite it off, square it up, and I think it works better like that. That's the rig for the flute. Uh, <clears throat> and of course, the Crete Chub, I'll show you that right quick while we're showing the rods. But anyhow, the Crete Chub, I've doctored it up. I've got bigger hooks on it. And I put a little mylon, uh, uh, it comes with a little mylon on the end, but that uh, I put a different hook on it to catch them rockfish. And, uh, but that's the creek chub with a big hook. The only thing about it, sometimes that long hook right there will uh, catch the other hook and you got to keep unhooking it. But they'll eat that up too, creek chub, and I put a little swivel. I got a braid line, I don't like to tie the top water plug directly to the braid line. I don't think it makes any difference, but just something I do. And uh, we got, uh, a full carbon line or monofilament it don't make no difference with that a little piece but uh and we use uh this is a h2o express rod also but it's it's a uh, six uh i think it's it's less than seven foot it don't say on here but this this rod here is less than seven foot shorter rod i like the shorter rods uh for top water pool and of course this is a m3 medley reel from h2o express that's the setup. Hey, let's go fishing Luke. on Monticello. The water looks like it's falling. And I hate, I like it falling, but the problem is, uh, they got the plant shut down right now. Maybe it'll say, stay settled today, but I like it when it's really high and then I'm catching it falling. Right now, it looks like it's fell about foot this morning. And every time it's like that, when I come back, when I go fishing, then it rises. And I don't like it rising, the fish don't bite. They bite better falling on this lake. But uh, go with me. Let's see what we can do. Lake Monticello trying to catch some white perch and crappy. God bless all of you. Let's go fishing. Folks, hey, the old fisherman back with you. We're on Lake Monticello. We're going to try to catch some of these doggone white perch right off the bat. And then I'm going crappy fishing. We're going to see what happens. You never know over here. Plant shut down. They might have turned them on. I don't know. I know the last time I was over here, they wasn't turned on too good. Hopefully today the they'll bite. We're using an inch and a half Charlie Brewer uh, grub with and a Willer bee at the top. Two jigs. Small, we're going small right now. I got some bigger ones down here we can try. Right now I'm going to go small see if we can get a bite. Uh, I seen some shad down there, but yet I haven't got a bite. We're going to work out deep and work up. We got cloudy conditions, kind of pleasant, not real cold, not real hot. Ought to be a good day for fishing. We can find out if they're feeding somewhere. Don't know on this lake. This lake is so unpredictable. But somewhere, I think we can catch some. They might be shallow and they might not bite at all. I don't know. But we're gonna find out. First, we're gonna try the perch, then we're going to the crappers. If the perch don't work. All right, folks. We got a couple of fish out there. Whether they'll bite, I don't know. It's that day. I only got one. I only got one. A little, but we finally got one. Maybe we get on something now. Hey, got him on the willy bee. Willow bee. They like that willow bee. Right now they do. Might be what we have to use, something with some color in it. Alright, put it back there. 
just a couple down there. A good mess of perch would be mighty fine. Glad y'all could be with me on another episode of Loving Life. We done stopped four places when we had a bite. That first bite we had. I'm beginning to think they ain't biting. And then I pulled out here about 50 foot of water and I got a bite. Uh, but it's just got to find them. That's what it amounts to. Just got to find them. If you don't find them, you won't catch them. And then you got to make them bite once you find them. That might be the only bite I get. Down here deep, it looks to me like that's a medium sized perch. Ain't nothing big. But let's hope we find some out here. Right there looks like a school of fish. I 53 foot of water. They might be really deep. That's what it might be. That might be the only bite we get. Pull back up here on this ridge. Got some catfishmen out there, drifting. You gotta figure out what they want. There's something there, 44 foot. That's about where they ought to be, 44 foot. See ya, got him, got him, 44 foot. Got him. That's a nice one too. That's on the old white G. Charlie Brewer, inch and a half. Tennessee shad color. Drop back down. Never caught two. Oh, we caught two. See something that too. They way down here on 44 foot of water. Where they at? I don't know how many of y'all are watching the Braves, but the Braves doing good. They won yesterday. Hope they win today. Hey, they is. Hey, we done got in some fish here. We done got in some fish here. I think we got two at a time this time. I think we got two at a time this time. Turn it on the other camera. Two at a time. Oh my. Two at a time. Oh yeah. Look at that. Two at a time. Late my cell. Hold it down because we got a boat right out here. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Drop back down. Hey, we might have it going on now. We might be done found the mother load. Maybe. Hey, they mid size, they ain't that little. They'll work. They'll work. Come and go though. They were there and then they gone. Now well, let's catch a bunch of them. That's for sure. Here comes a couple. Right there. There he is. Oh, missed it. Got him again. Missed him again. They're running up. There he is. High. Got him high. Oh, my. Got him high. Got him high. Look at that. Nice perch. Willoughby. That Willoughby will catch him, buddy. You got your Willoughby. You better call Charlie Brew and get you, son. Hey, get it back down. Catching a couple. That's right. And they sh the shed coming out of their mouth, too. That is a good sign right there. The shed coming out of their mouth is a good sign. Good sign. 
Sun starting to come out. That's a good sign to make them bite too. See you. That's a good one. That's a good one. They're killing it now. Hey, they're starting to kill it. We're going to catch them too, buddy. We're going to catch them. That's a good one right there. That's a good one. We got a two. Two at a time. Lake Monticello. Some fella said them's dinks. The little fish I'm catching dinks. Fella, I don't know who you are. I'm catching what bites. I've caught plenty of big ones. Fella, North Carolina, want to put down my fish. But, uh, hey, I like catching dinks too. They eat just as good as the big ones. That's all I got to say. Dinks. I tell you, boy, people something. I'm letting y'all go on my fishing trip. I ain't gonna guarantee I'm gonna catch slabs every time. We're gonna do our best. We catch what bites. Is what I get. I catch my share of big ones. There ain't no person gonna go out there and catch all big fish every time they go. Hey, I'm liking what I'm catching right now. I'm having a good time, loving life, catching smaller fish. There's nothing wrong with it. See ya? They biting too, buddy. See ya. They, they starting to chase. They starting to chase, that means they're feeding. That means they're feeding, that means we're going to catch them. We're going to stir them up. That's two more at a time right there. Look at that. Two at a time. Two at a time. Small jig. That's what the bite, y'all. Small jig. The jigs I showed you when we was coming in this morning. Little B, it's a little one inch jig. I think it's one inch, it's short. And then we got the inch and a half Charlie Brewer swimming jigs. And that, and that color is the uh, um, is the Tennessee Shad color. Do the come around circle swing. That'll get him every time. I see him now that it's turning up 45 foot of water. Where they at? There he goes. He nailed it. Oh my goodness, he nailed it. He nailed it. He stuck it. Okay, hey, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Hey, we're going to be cleaning fish today, buddy. We're going to be cleaning fish today. Catch a mess of these and go catch a mess of crap. That would be a perfect day. No limit on white perch. 20 crappy is the limit. There he is. Boy, he's killing it. They killing it. They got two. We got two this time. Or oh, bass. We might have a bass. We might have a bass. Oh, he got off. That was a bass. Show of the world. He was on the Willoughby. That was a bass. Show sure was. That was a bass. Got to cream that Willoughby. Creamed it. Willoughby's then got crooked. I got to rehook it again. Might have to get us another one. That was a bass I just had, y'all. He was a big fish. He's coming up to spit it out. There was a bite. I tell you, you don't get a bite until you get out 44 foot. Not a bite. They're right on that drop, 44 foot. That's where they're laying there in a pile. There you go. He nailed it. He nailed it. Oh, my. He nailed it. Come in here, boy. 44 foot is the key. Now, these fish, there ain't no whoppers, but that's, boy, that's the key. Right
field. Just laying it to them again. Put them back in a feed. They ain't that big though. They small. They small. A pile of them down there There you go. There he goes. That's a nice one. Feels like a good one. Two of them. Look at that. Two at a time. Oh my. Two at a time. Two at a time. Folks, we're in the rain. We're in the rain. We got our first fish on the day. A nice one too. Big old crap. Get the size of that thing. Jumbo magnum. First fish of the day. Rain pouring down. And we got the first fish of the day. Y'all see it? Pound crap it. Good one. Good one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Good one. Good one. Y'all see it? Good one. He didn't think he's laughing, but he's a good one. There's some down there. Look out. I don't know if y'all hear me or not. Up in the right spot. Hey, yeah. hey, they down there, y'all. They down there. Good ones, too. They down there. Hey, medium size. They down there. Calm down. And took the jig off. All right, folks. Uh, went, had to go back to the house to get my daggone tackle box. I left my tackle box at the house. Then I had to go back to the truck to get my bottoms. Hey, it started pouring out of rain. We caught a couple crappers. Now it's about an hour later. I got through getting everything set. Now it's quit raining. But anyhow, we prepared if it goes raining again. Drizzling a little bit, but it got to pouring. We caught a couple crappers uh, on our first, uh, actually second stop. But it's on up probably, I don't know, 10 o'clock now. But I think the fish ought to bite cloudy and, and overcast. I think, it, I think we might even get on some school fish. I don't know, we're gonna try to crap it a little bit. Go to the other side of the lake. Now it's calming down. It was so rough earlier, you couldn't have went to the other side of the lake. But we're going to try to see if we can catch a crappie in here. Loving life with the old fisherman. See you. Got him. Got him. Got him. Not a real big one, but he got him. Probably end up throwing him back. I'm sure we will. In fact, we're gonna throw him back right now. All right, folks, so on the other side of the lake, you come across a lot of rain. It's pouring out in the middle of the lake. Go over here at where we get you to catch some nice crap. They down deep. We ain't deep enough. We gotta go deeper to catch these fish. They down on the bottom. Tell you what I tell you, what I tell you, good one, good one. Oh my God, good one. That is a monster. That is a monster crappy right there. That is a monster crappy. Monster, monster crappy. Look at the size of that crappy. Oh, that Moses, folks. Look what I just caught. Crazy, gosh. I ain't believing this. I'm about two pounds. Look at the size of that fish. Pound and three quarters. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's a jumbo. That is a jumbo, folks. Kinds down there. They're down there. Catch them. They're down there. 
it beside the brush deep. Whole school up now. Close to the bottom. Pull it back out and see if we can get a nun on it, Chuck. What y'all say? Alright, folks. We pulled back in here to where we started this morning, right before it started raining. Caught a couple in here. Let's see if there's any in here now. Fish ain't biting. They did pretty good yesterday. They ain't biting today. This ain't biting today. Oh, why? I ain't seen no fish schooling. And I uh, ain't caught many crappers. Maybe a mess for doing it. I don't know if we're doing it. Hey, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. He ain't that big. I thought he was bigger than he was. Hey, but it's a crappy. Y'all see it. Next brush, you got one. I'm in a good one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. The next brush. Bip, bit it. I'm gonna tell you right now. You never know where you're gonna catch another. But we just caught another hand size. We have about a pound crappy. Y'all see it? Look at that. Hmm. Might catch another fish. See if there's any more out there. Shoot. Might be. Might be. Never know. Well, well good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. Hey, it's a gloomy, cloudy, windy day coming. Wind coming out of the north. Uh, cool. Let's see what we can do today on this lake, catching some doggone fish. We're going to start off with some crappies right here. See if we can catch a crab. Y'all bear with me. I get spot number two. Spot number one to get us a bite. Yeah, ain't looking good. Ain't looking good at all. Tell you what, it's cold. I'm freezing. That wind's cold. I definitely ought to put on my jacket. Both being the 80s. When this wind feels, I don't know if it's going to make them not. Let's see if we can drop out here and catch one. I don't think it's going to be too deep right now. I'm going to be suspended. I'm just guessing. I don't know. If I didn't hear that old log, I like to catch them on it. I catch them when I'm coming back home on it, but I don't know about going out in the morning. I just think the fish is going to be off. It ain't going to bite. So far, that's the way it looks. So far, it don't look good. There you go. Got one, though. Got one. Got one. Oh, my. Got one. Hey, regular size crappy, but we got one. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. He ain't no whopper. I'm gonna have to cool my back. I got a lot of water in my drum this morning. That'll live as cool, cool as it is. That'll live in that wow. I could put them in the live well, but I don't like to hear that live well running. I'm good on the twig. It's too much noise. Fishing this close to the trap. Alright, let's get back on. Caught one. I might not get another bite of him. I don't know. Oh, got another. A little one, but we got nothing. I don't know if that's crappy or not. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it is too. Crappy. 
Your top G, little one. That's crappy. I'll see it. I'll see we're gonna pull them out. nothing in there. <coughs> Somewhere. Is that you? Got him. Got him. Got him. Another, another small one, but we got him. Y'all see him? Another small one. <coughs> Alright, folks. Went across the lake. That was one heck of a ride. Rough out there. We're gonna see if we can catch something in here. I don't count on that. We're gonna find out though. <clears throat> Push back in here a little bit. See if there's anything on it. Might not be nothing here today. Probably kind of fish kind of off. Alright, let's drop it down so we can catch one. I ain't seeing much. I ain't a good time. Ain't much here. That. Right there might be one. Right there, son. It's damn deep. Right there. Right there. Went over to hit it. it. Might not be deep enough. There he is. Got him. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Oh my, big one. That net out. That net out, y'all. Big one. I mean, real big one. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh my. Look at that one of crap. Hey, day. The whole school of them down here. Hey, day, what a crap. He nailed it, too. Only thing about this little net right here, he wants to grab my dog on to it. And he don't want to let it loose. There it is. There it is. Oh my, there it is. Hey, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Slabs. Slabs. That's what we're looking for right there, folks. Down a quarter slab. Yeah, on some school fish out here in the middle of the lake. And uh, I just threw the flute out there and got one on. First cast. Oh my, first cast. There ain't no keeper size, but it's first cast. Y'all see him? Hey, day. Boy, oh, he nailed it. Ow! Calm down, boy. Calm down. Y'all see him? That's what I'm talking about. Keeper size. See that? We got to throw him back. Now the school's gone. That quick. Alright folks, we got some fish schooling out here. They ain't staying up long enough to get to them. Some out here in front of me, but by the time I get to them, they go down. I'll throw out there and try to get one to bite it. They ain't gone down again. Hey, 
Oh, there he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. Hey, dang, he nailed it. Crazy. Dang. That joker took it. Now, that's good enough, believe it. Oh, he got all golly bombed. That was a big old fish. Oh, he nailed it. Too. He took that top water pool. Let me tell you. Hit it again. Hey, you got him that time. Got him that time. Oh my, got him that time. That might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. I don't know. Very well could be. fish. That's a good fish. Uh oh, hit behind me now. This is a good fish right here. Get on top of the water behind me. I can't get this one in. I mean, this is a good one. We have to get the big net for this. We're going to have to get the big net out for this one. If I can get it out. That's a good fish. Oh my! Come in here, boy. Come in here. With They're hitting all around me too. Oh Lord! All we got to do is get this in. That's a good fish right there. That's a that's a big fish. That's a big fish, people. Golly, bum! Get up, right there. Hey, day. You got to get needle nose. To get him out. He stuck that creature. I mean, he stuck it. Oh, Lord, I don't want him to stick me. out for sure. I don't want to break my hook off either. Hey, uh, there he is. That's a good one. That's definitely a keeper. Get five like that, we'll have some groceries. Look at that. That's a good one. Look at the size of that fish. Oh, my. I'll let him lay down that box. Woo, he, son. He stuck. See, that other one I had was a big one. He got off. I don't know where they going to now. I don't know if they're still there or not. Cast out here and see if we can get one to come up on it. It won't stay up long. It's a problem. Just not coming that way you see them. Where'd they go? Where did they go? in front of me. See if I can ease on down there with a trolling motor. Right out here in front of me. Oh my goodness. What? I don't know if y'all can see him or not. Turn this camera a little bit. This fish all down here in front of me. We'll get to him, we'll catch one of these. We'll get, we'll get to him, we'll catch one of these. I'm going to chunk it see how far I can throw it. Uh-oh, didn't quite get to him. Jokers already want to go down. They hit and go. Hit and go. What they doing? Right down here in front of me, I ain't quite got to him yet. Ugh. <sighs> 
If I were to get one, maybe. Hey, he hit it. Hey, get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my, I got it. I don't know if we're gonna. I don't think it'll keep it up. But I got it. I don't know, he might be a keeper. He's bigger than I think. He's close. He's close. Oh, he's close. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Y'all see it? Ain't quite a keeper, though. We got to throw him back. Oh, man. Taking these suckers off is the problem. With them dogs on hooks on that top water plug, they will get you. Lord and mercy, they're right here on the side. Man, I got to get this hook out of here. Y'all see him? Got to throw him back. Thank you.